also a quick video on how to adjust the bisque because it's easier to do a video than to try to type it all out. So real quick, the bisque screws on top of the throttle body here. You're going to need a short, stubby little Phillips screwdriver to adjust it. Um, if you're still not sure where it's at, it's just north of the ticking lifters that you've replaced with new ones three times and they still tick. So it's right above there. First thing you want to, uh, you're going to want to do is start the car up and let it run. You want to make sure it's up to operating temperature. I usually let it run until the cool down fan comes on. And then I will come and verify it on EvoScan on my coolant temp. So I'm right around 183 or above, so I'm good to go. The car's been running for a while. This ISCV demand trim, AC off, is the value that you're going to want to watch while you're making your adjustments. Um, so you can see I'm at 1.5. I threw it off a little bit for the sake of adjusting it for this video. So what you're going to notice is while you are data logging, the radiator fan is going to come on. When the radiator fan comes on, the demand trim is going to change. You don't want to pay attention to that number because uh, the voltage is off. You're going to want to wait for the radiator fan to go off. Once the radiator fan goes off, you will see the demand trim change again. Once it changes again and settles on a number, that's the one you're going to want to log. So my radiator fan just came on right now. And you can see I'm logging 1.56%. So I'm going to pause this video and when the radiator fan goes off and the number settles, I'll start recording again. Now you can see uh, the values drop down to 1.17. That's the number I'm actually going to use to tune it. There you can see the voltage changing a little bit, but anyway, so the 1.17 is the value I'm using. That's where it's settled. So now I'm going to make a quarter turn adjustment. If the number is negative, that means the valve is closing off air a little bit. So that means I'm going to want to tighten the screw to try to zero that out. So I'm going to get in here, make a tiny adjustment. The screw is plastic or something, so be careful. Uh, little baby quarter turn. Now after I make an adjustment, I usually wait for that cool down fan to cycle uh, maybe twice because each time I'll get slightly different readings. It takes a while for it to settle and adjust to find the trims. So uh, I'm going to let the radiator fan cycle two or three times and then I will come back and record again and show the new values. Alright, so now you can see it's down to 0 0.392, so these trims go in increments of 392, so that is actually one step away from zero. I could probably stop there if I was in a hurry, but I'm picky and I got nothing else to do, so I'm going to go until it says zero. So the, uh, the 784 is two steps from zero, also pretty close, especially being within one. Um, but we're going for zero. So 392 is our new number. I'm going to do another quarter turn uh, Tightening the screw because it's still going negative and restricting air. So another quarter turn uh, Tightening the screw and then I will let the radiator fan cycle a couple times and start recording again with the new number And there you can see we're at zero it only took two tries So that's about it